this Memphis Shades Road Warrior for the Dana here, sitting in the garage for a month, mainly going on two months right now. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a while. And I was originally supposed to put it on the bike, and then I started thinking about doing an FXRP fairing, which you guys seen already. Now I've kind of decided that I might go with that FXRP fairing on the Low Rider S, and we're just gonna go with the Road Warrior for the Dyna. Um, it does come black. I already went ahead and I installed the hardware on the inside part of it. Um, if you wanna see a more detailed look into that, I'm gonna link the video at the end where I go really in depth on how to put this thing together. It's really self-explanatory, but um, what I really wanted to do today is go over the install on the Dyna. So if you're not aware, these later style Dynas, the whole light, fixture thing it's like totally different and I want to go over everything that you're gonna need exactly to do on the bike and what to put on the bike in order to put on this uh, Memphis Shades Road Warrior so with that being said I also want to give a huge huge thank you to Memphis Shades for sponsoring today's video for providing me with this Memphis Shades Road Warrior um, I'm gonna go take this out real quick I'll show you guys what I already did, which was put the hardware in the back already. This is real simple, guys. The hardware install here is like probably one of the easiest things you can do. It's just literally screwing the hardware onto the fairing and that's it. All right, so like I was mentioning before, the later style Dynas are a bit different when it comes to the light fixture right here. Um, the bucket is actually screwed onto the top of this cowl and that's gonna be in the wrong location for the fairing. The light is not gonna fit right where it's supposed to go. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take this off um, and then right here on the lower triple tree, there is a hole. We're just gonna pop this up. Only way you're gonna be able to do that is by ordering a new bucket from Moons MC. So the Moons MC is gonna come with the bucket uh, ready to fit on the lower tree. We're gonna be using the Moons MC block, which comes with uh, the long screw that we need for the bottom triple tree as well. So let's start to wrench in and let's get on with the video. All right, so we're gonna start by loosening this up right here on top. Swan screw holds down the light down below. All right, so the wire from the light goes in right under there. All you gotta do is just pull this out and then the plug is right here in the front. All you gotta do right here is just Snap that open and it's out. All right, so I had a, a big issue, not a little one. So I ended up taking, I cut this wire out of the original bucket because the one that moves MC, I'm not sure if they sent me the wrong one or not, but these are the heads and the tips of the connections. And this is what I'm working with, with the one on the bike. So it was obviously not gonna work. So I did a little arts and crafts. I cut the wires, I did some wires, Splicing and taped it all back up so hopefully it works um, but yeah so here's a moons MC bucket and I'm using the original wire from the, the Harley Davidson light so we'll see how it goes alright guys so we're gonna take our moons MC block we're gonna take the big bolt that comes uh, with it put it through the top and that's gonna hold it in right there get your little nut so you just hold it in place and then it brings a smaller screw, which we're gonna put in through here, which is gonna hold the bucket onto uh, the block. This is a smaller screw right here. This is gonna go through the bucket and then through the block, just as is. And then we're gonna put the nut on the other side. And what I wanna do first, connect this light, just make sure that this thing is gonna work. My little project here. And if we have power, then we're good to go. We're good to go. I impress myself sometimes, even when it's just to splice some wires. First time doing that. Not a big fan of splicing wires and working with shit like that, but whatever needs to be done, needs to be done. All right guys, so I already went ahead and I put uh, both fork clamps on this side. That's what your fairing's gonna hold down to. It's gonna click on the top and the bottom and then it locks in. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this side. Make sure that this is facing forward and this is gonna be also on the outside. So we're gonna put that right over there and you wanna bring it right to the top as well. Then you just start screwing in. The good things about these fairings is that they're pretty easy to put on. Uh, and then pretty easy to take off as well whenever you want to change. 
All right, guys, one thing you gotta make sure you have is a washer for the nut uh, with the screws under here. Um, I had a bit of an issue right now. I didn't put a washer and it was still loose and I was trying to tighten it up now and it wouldn't tighten up anymore and then I just kind of like broke off the whole screw. So yeah, I had to go to AutoZone real quick and replace the screw. I Luckily they have all the same ones over there. So yeah, uh, Moon's MC, you gotta start putting washers in your stuff. So this is nice and stiff and the way it should be holding up right now, looking real good. Uh, I just gotta tighten this up a bit more. And then um, that's it, we just gotta put the uh, road rotary on. We just gotta put the windshield on afterwards, but I'm gonna throw the road rotary on real quick just to show you guys how it's gonna look. variants on the bike you can go ahead and just tighten up those little allen key screws in the back because now you know that exact location where those four clamps are at is like the perfect position where it needs to be and they're not going to be moving on you now the last part right here is probably the easiest you're going to be using these screws as you can see on there it says no screwdriver these are just going to be going on hand tight so i had originally requested a uh more of a lighter shade for this sh uh, windshield, but they sent me the dark one. Um, but it's all right, because I think the dark one might look really cool. Get the first screw on there. Yeah, so next week, I'm gonna be painting this fairing, and I'm gonna be doing it in-house. So tune in next week and wait for that video, because that should be something pretty cool. Maybe something that you guys can learn how to do in-house as well. That's on there. These screws are so easy, man, because it's just like put them through, tighten it up, and that's it. And then they um they don't they don't go anywhere either. Because I haven't had any issues. I've had the other Road Warrior on my bike on my uh, 2020 Lowrider RS for over a year now, and I've never had any issues with the screws at all. Now, I'm gonna be painting the fairing with plastic dip. I used to play a lot with plastic dip, a lot back in the day when I, when I had my different cars and I used to paint my wheels. So, back in the day, I used to paint them all type of colors. Um, but what I just recently found out, um, Dio let me know, is that they now have like a, uh, like a clear coat. So you paint it whatever color you want. So for example, I'm gonna paint my white and then you can put a clear gloss coat on top of it and it's gonna look like a glossy paint. And then the best thing about plastic dip is that if you wanna take it off, you just peel it off or, um, and then change the color if you want again as well. So that's pretty cool. So today for that video, that should be pretty fun. And we got one more to go and we're done, man. We'll take both bikes outside. I'll show you guys exactly how they look side to side. Because the 2020 Lowrider S right now has a Del Rey. This one has the uh, Road Warrior. Let's turn on the bike. Well, let's turn on the light. Awesome. Let's take him outside, let's get some nice shots of this, and we'll take it from there. Alright guys, that's gonna be today's install. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.